whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the senior taster of whiskey.com. And today we have an old friend here in my cask. It's the Balechin, 10 years of age, 46% ABV, priced in the mid 40s, unchill filtered, uncolored. And this Balechin is from the Edredauer distillery, has the same bottle, but has some green color on the tube and on the label and editor please take care of the green because i do have a green screen behind me where i project the picture of the edredauer distillery in the back so be careful uh, to place that mask on that uh yeah card box tube so this belechen is the Peated whiskey from the Eredauer distillery. Eredauer is a very, very small distillery in the Highlands. And the Eredauer distillery was sold to the actual proprietor, Andrew Symington, in 2003. And the first bottling of the Belechin appeared in 2014, just 10 full years after that. And this Belechin is five euros more expensive than the typical Edredauer is. And now we are six, eight years in the making of the Belechin. So it's time to have a second uh, yeah, tasting of this whiskey. And Belechin is the name of an old distillery where nothing is left over, just the name uh, is left over in the vicinity of the Edredauer distillery. And, well, the famous whiskey writer and Alfred Bonnard, who traveled the United Kingdom and visited all the distillery in the late 19th century, he also wrote about the Belechin distillery where they had uh, a peated whiskey. And therefore, they took the name at Eredau for this whiskey with the 50 ppm uh, content of smoke. Yeah. So Eredau is a very small distillery with very small stills, but they were able uh, to build a second distillery on the same premise with the identical shaped stills so that they were able to double their output and they are quite uh, successful in their sales. So they needed the second distillery for satisfying all the needs for the people. So, wow. Strong cork, a lot of smoke, very smoky. Aromatic, phenolic, extreme. So if you have a, a sip of this whiskey, no chance to have another one non-smoky whiskey behind because this will cover everything you have. Yeah, very, very smoky. Not too stinky, as I often say. Uh, stinky meant uh, too phenolic hospital uh, disinfection. No, this is partly phenolic, partly bonfire, uh, wood fire. So it's not too stinky, but it's strongly, strong smoky, yeah. After a time, until the nose uh, is accustomed to the smell, you get a little sweet vanilla in the back, coming probably from the uh, ex-American oak cask, ex-sherry cask. And they say they have a generous amount of ex sherry cask, European sherry casks, which they add to the whiskey. So this is a little bit more complex with the European sherry cask. And if you have a look at this, it is quite dark golden, uncolored, but it's a little lighter than the typical 10 year old Eredauer that is a little bit darker from the sherry touch they use. What they are doing at uh, Belechin, they just uh, use casks with a maximum second fill, so first and second fill for the Belechin. Yeah, cheers. Mm -hmm. Strong action on the tongue. The peat smoke is dominant. 
and after that a definite oak spicy but mixed with an oiliness so the spicy note is not too harsh but it mixes with the oiliness it gives a gentle satin smooth feeling in your mouth and the aftertaste is is split there is a long aftertaste with the smoke cladding your mouth and beside of that is a medium aftertaste with a light licorice note from the casks which might come from the European oak but it's not too too strong though so this is strong smoky intense massive There is a small influence of sherry rounding things up, making it a little bit more fruity, oloroso casks, but it's not too much of it in it. Yeah, so it's a complex one, leading, coming from the uh, ex bourbon cask, ex sherry cask, and the peatiness and the distillery character from the small stills. So there's a lot of, uh, yeah, different aromas coming through in this whiskey. That's it for today. Thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned. There's more to come.